Red Sox become the first team in the 21st century to win two World Series titles. Can you believe it? They are mobbing Jonathan Papelbon to the right of the mound. He fired his glove high in the air, and the Red Sox jumping up and down, and as Ed Barton would say, pandemonium on the field. So a glorious Red Sox season comes to a close with the Red Sox second world championship in the last four years. And we'll close as we do every season in a tradition started by our predecessor, the Hall of Fame broadcaster, Ken Coleman, quoting from the writings of the late, great A. Bartlett Giamatti, the former commissioner of baseball, who wrote in his essay, Green Fields of the Mind, it breaks your heart. It is designed to break your heart. The game begins in the spring, when everything else begins again, and it blossoms in the summer, filling the afternoons and evenings. And then as soon as the chill rains come, it stops and leaves you to face the fall alone. You count on it, rely on it, to buffer the passage of time, to keep the memory of sunshine and high skies alive, and then just when the days are all twilight, when you need it most, it stops. This season stops on a happy note. The Red Sox become the first franchise in the 21st century to win two world champions. And it'll be a warm winter indeed throughout New England and Red Sox Nation. Our thanks to our broadcast partners, Glenn Geffner and Dave O'Brien, our engineer and producer, Doug Lane, our host, John Risch, and our executive producer of our flagship station, John Albanese. And most of all, our thanks to you, the great fans of Red Sox Nation, for listening. The Boston Red Sox, 2007 Baseball World Champions. This is Joe Castiglione.